Hello and welcome to the newest version of the American Numismatic Association's website, money.org. We're very excited to share this new iteration of the website with the general public and a &A members. We just wanted to provide a quick tour as there have been several changes to the site, as you will notice, and give a little bit of a assistance with the new navigation while people are uh, becoming familiarized with the new website. So we're very excited about the new features and the new organization of the site. One of the first changes you may notice is our new static sidebar navigation. And what we mean by that is that the menu stays stable as users scroll down through the page. They're able to quickly navigate to other sections of the website without needing to uh, return to the top of the page. So just a little usability enhancement there. Uh, but without further ado, let's take a deeper dive into this new navigation and how it works. As an example, we are going to start by looking at ANA events in the sidebar column. So we've simply navigated to the sidebar. We'll click on ANA events. And as you will see, we're of course directed to a new web page, but we also have a new menu at the top of the page. And this all leads to content that is particularly relevant to ANA events. So here you're able to find information on conventions like the World's Fair of Money, National Money Show, our seminars, National Coin Week, online learning opportunities, and our events calendar. So as mentioned before, the content here directly synchronizes with the item on the sidebar menu. As another example, we'll select the Money Museum, and you'll see the same thing happen here. Uh, menu items that are relevant to the section of the website that you're visiting at that time. So being able to plan your visit, look at our featured exhibits and attractions, explore the museum online, all these other options will be available as you look through different items through the sidebar. So I would recommend um, for anyone that is interested just to take a few minutes and explore these menu options so that you can see uh, all the content and where that leads you. Um, one other thing to note, of course, as you scroll down on many of these web pages, you're offered different access points to uh, content within that section. But a hint um, for our users here, uh, as we do have some rather long pages that you'll scroll through, we wanted to make it easy for users to return to the top of the page. So if you direct your attention to the lower right hand, corner of the page, you'll see a white box with a black arrow and simply clicking on that will take you back to the top of that page instantly um, so that you're able to return to where you started. One other uh, note on navigation, while people are becoming uh, familiar with the website, we will have a section here in the footer that replicates the links in the sidebar menu but we'll also list uh, what elements are beneath that. So for example, under a a events, you'll be able to uh, navigate directly to conventions, seminars, so on and so forth. Um, same as the Money Museum, About Us, you'll find contact information and things like that, all listed below these menu headers, um, just to help people navigate in another way if they prefer to get straight to the source. However, I do recommend that new users uh, take that time to do some exploring and just visit these other um, elements of the website on their own. So now for a little information particular to our members. Um, those of you who aren't members, please feel free to continue watching. And I would encourage you to consider membership in the ANA. Um, it's very easy to join. Uh, there's a button here right on top of the sidebar where you can learn more about ANA benefits uh, like our wonderful magazine, The Numismatist, uh, educational opportunities and things like that. Also features on the website that are available to members only. So it's a great value and a great way to become part of our community of uh, 25,000 plus collectors. So if you're interested in joining, I encourage you to uh, take a look at that. But now for our current members, uh, first of all, thank you again for being members of the AMA. The login button has moved here to the sidebar. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we log in. Uh, the interface has been updated. 
but good news, your news username and password will remain the same, so no need to worry about that. If you have forgotten your password or username for any uh, reason, please just go ahead and use the link um, beneath the password field and we can help you out with that. But in the meantime, let's log in and see how this experience has changed for our members. So here we have um, a new set of options that has opened up now that we've logged in. So we have a little welcome message um, saying good afternoon and beneath that some features of the website that are very available strictly to our members. So here is your member uh, account dashboard where you'll be able to see messages that you've received from people on the site that you're connected with, your followers. Uh, you'll see uh, a blog feed and collections feed with newest content that has been provided from fellow members uh, for you to enjoy. So we're gonna revisit that in just a moment. Here you'll be able to access your blog. Um, as a member, you're able to contribute to our blog and, and we enjoy our member contributions very much. So uh, feel free to access that um, through this link. My Collections is another great feature of the website where members are able to upload images from their collection and add descriptions and then either share those with other members um, or people that they're connected with on the website or keep those collections private um, as a cataloging tool. So a lot of great options there that I encourage you to check out. My Images is a brand new feature that we've added for our members. Um, based on your feedback, we have included this option as a library that will centrally collect all of your images. Um, many of our uh, members have different images that they've used in blog posts and their collections. This brings them all together in one place so that you can easily manage all those images from one central location. Privacy settings, this is where you'll visit to uh, renew your membership, select your communications preferences and those kinds of things. And the next three items, blogs, collections and forum, all uh, refer to community contributed content. So here is where you can visit uh, pages containing posts from fellow members, uh, view fellow members uh, collections, and uh, contribute to the member forum. Um, so a lot of great ways to interact with your fellow collectors there. And below that we have of course digital magazines which links our members to online versions of the numismatist and the archive. If you're a member and you haven't checked out these features, uh, I encourage you to. It's a great way to look through the history of numismatics and the history of the association uh, through the Numismatist Archive. Now, as I promised, I wanted to once again revisit my dashboard and just give a quick overview. This is really your hub for activity and engagement with your fellow collectors. So here you've got your profile picture and your username and then you'll have a submenu with several items, the first of which is the feed, which will show contributions from other members, uh, blogs and collections in a chronological order. So a great way to explore uh, content from your fellow collectors. Then you'll have messages where you'll be able to view messages that you've shared with the other members that you've connected with online. Those members that are following you and those that you are following um, are available under these two headings. And then activity is a real-time streaming log of contributions that have been made by the, the folks that you're following and are connected with, their activity on the website and so on. So I encourage you to spend some time exploring your dashboard. It's a great new feature for our members. And with that, we'll wind down this tour uh, just again by saying thank you to our members. We hope that you enjoy the new website. And if you're not a member, please do consider becoming a part of our organization. We'd love to have you. And thank you again for being a part of the collecting community.